What is going on, beautiful people? I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as Mental Illness, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how some narcissistic people will absolutely use your secrets against you. They, anything you say to a narcissist can and will be used against you in the court of narcissism. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe for more. So in the court of narcissism, anything you say can and will be used against you. And what I mean by that is that anything that you have told a narcissistic person, anything that you have like confided in them for any kind of secret you shared to them or whatever, can and will be thrown in your face when, is, when they feel like it's necessary. If they feel like you've backed them into a corner and they're like fighting for their lives, so to speak, they will throw out your childhood trauma against you. They will throw out all the bad things that you have told them. Sometimes they'll use the things that you have told them to blackmail you and whatnot. Just like, look, I'm gonna tell all your friends what you said, how you really feel about them if you don't do what I say. And nothing is off limits, y'all. Anything that you said to them is like, a, like narcissistic people are like elephants. They never forget, especially when they feel like it's going to be useful. And there's no time limit on it either, y'all. So if you said this in the beginning of the relationship 10 years ago, it's still relevant right now to use against you right now today. Freeze. You are under narcissistic arrest, y'all. Narciss like I said in the, video, in the beginning, Anything you can say, anything you say to a narcissistic person can and will be used against you, y'all. Um, before we hop into today's episode, y'all, check out the Self Love brand. This is new in the shop. I'm grateful. I love me. I'm grateful. Help you rebuild that self love and authenticity, you know, throughout your relationship dynamic uh, and your, on your healing journey. Link is in the description of every single video. But yeah, y'all, yeah, yeah, yeah. This happens so often in toxic relationship spaces where something you said to the narcissistic person in the past that they promised to never bring up they bring up when you hurt them they feel like they have to hurt you worse and a lot of times you share this information up front like some narcissistic people y'all will trauma dump on you they'll trauma dump on you to get you to open sometimes they're trying the trauma dump that they do is a tr bunch of trauma lies they will lie about what they've been through they will lie about their experiences and things like that to get you to trust them and to get you to trauma dump on them. Like you share your trauma, your 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 heartbreaks, your abuse stories, what are your traumatic experiences, things that you have survived, they will throw them in your face later on. This happens so often, y'all, in types of relationships, spaces, and dynamics. It is a, it, it is really truly abhorrent. It's it just one of those things that it happens all the time. And like this, that's what I tell people, you have to make people earn your information. You have to make people earn your information up front, but sometimes this happens deep into the relationship. Like you've already been in a relationship with this person for years. Then all of a sudden they start talking about your, your mom that passed away, your dad that overdosed, your grandma, your grandpa, they, whatever happened to them or whatever. Something that happened to you in your childhood. Any nothing is when you hurt a narcissistic person's feelings, when they get um the word my therapist uses is, is activated. When they get activated, nothing is nothing is off limits. You know, and it's like same thing goes for me, y'all. I, I, like, I'm not talking like I haven't done this stuff. This is me speaking from personal experience. When I get activated, anything that I've learned about you is going to be used against you because you hurt me. I need to hurt you worse. Like some things that I have said probably are unforgivable. You know what I mean? And some things that the narcissistic person in your life has said probably equally as unforgivable. You know what I mean? And I'm not trying to, y'all. You know, I'm not trying to justify the behaviors of a toxic person. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to share with you, just be very careful of who and what you share with a toxic narcissistic person. Make sure that if you if you have sensitive information that you feel like if somebody else knew about it or if somebody else used against you and you think you're dealing with a narcissist, start sharing less. <laughs> you know what I mean? If, you, if they already used something against you in the past, don't give them any, uh, and it sucks, y'all. And I know it sucks not to be able to, to feel like you can't share things with your parents or you can't share things with your partner or your family and things like that. It's, it, it is like a very, you, it, it sucks. Did you, cause you feel like you want to trust the person that you're with. You're like, I want to trust this person, Lee. I want to love this person. I want to do this. I want to do that. And I understand that completely. But when you're dealing with a narcissistic person, you don't get to do that. Especially if they're not working on themselves or in therapy or trying to make any type of positive behavior alterations. This is who you have to deal with. This is your future. And this is not me with a magic ball saying, this is your future right here. Look into your future. This is not me saying that. This is me saying like, this is the person that you're going to have to deal with right here. 
You may because if they're not working on themselves, they're going to and they yeah. If they use it once, they'll use it again. If you have a family heirloom or something a vase or something like that or something just they, they won't just say things to hurt you. They'll do things to hurt you as well. They might hit you. Like you hey, look, I, I don't like this. My uh my ex used to hit me. Please don't please don't punch the wall. Bam. Guess what guess what guess what happens when they get mad? Bam, they punch the wall. They try to set off your triggers on purpose because you hurt them, because you activated them. Because they feel it could be they just perceived it as hurt or activation. It could be that it could be just the perception of hurt and activation. Now, you don't really, really even have to do it. They just perceive it and they attack. They feel like you attack them, so they feel like they need to attack you. You see what I'm saying? They feel like, oh, you hurt me, I need to hurt you. Oh, you you did this to me, I need to do this to you. They try, they feel like an, an eye. It's not even an eye for an eye. It's an eye for a leg. It's an eye for a heart. You hurt my eye, I need to take your arm. You see what I'm saying? I need to cut off your torso. I need to break your back. You know, you poke me in my eye. I need to, you know, I need to break. I need, I need to do some serious harm to you. You know what I mean? It is a very unique space to be in. Like they feel like they need to hurt you. You know what I mean? They feel like because you hurt them. They're about just like if they've done it before, y'all. Don't, it's, rebuilding the trust in a relationship is already difficult as it is, but rebuilding trust in a relationship with a narcissist is damn near impossible. Because they don't trust, like if they say something to hurt you, well, this crazy thing about it is, if they say something to hurt you, they automatically think that you don't trust them anymore, so they don't trust you. So now your whole relationship is on, uh, it's already on fragile grounds anyway. Now it's on on even more fragile ground, even more fragile space, even more living. Uh, it's, it's just a very difficult space to be in. So watch what you say to these toxic people, y'all. Especially up front, if they give you red flags up front, be careful. With, make people earn your information, y'all. Make them earn it. And don't have a trauma dumping first date. Don't let your first date be pizza, movies, and trauma dumping. Don't, don't let that be on your menu, y'all. Dinner, movies, dinner, drinks, movies, and trauma dumping. Don't do that, y'all. Don't trust people with your trauma. Don't trust people with your pain up front. Make them earn it. Earn, earn, earn it. Don't give them the benefit of the, I know I always say this. Don't give them the benefit of the doubt because the benefit of the doubt is earned. It's a benefit. It's an earned thing. You have to earn the benefit of the doubt. It's a it's a benefit. Earn it. Earn it over time. You know what I mean? But this is the position that a lot of narcissistic people will put you in, y'all. They will put you in a position where you gotta choose between sharing trauma or being hurt. Yeah, and that sucks, y'all. <sighs> but anyways, y'all, don't forget to check out the new the new the new stuff in the oh hit the mic. The new stuff in the self love shop. I'm grateful. I have a lot of new stuff going on there, y'all. Self love course coming out and all kinds of stuff. Stay tuned for more. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, mental illness is out. Peace. Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video, y'all. Thank you for watching all the way through. I'm eternally grateful for you. If you haven't already, you made it this far, you might as well go ahead and hit this subscription button, y'all. Turn on the notifications so we can reach more people. Help me reach more people and whatnot. The self-love brand is available as well. Link is in the description of every single video I do, y'all. Um, I'm aware. This is the I Love Me brand. The self-love journal is also available too, y'all. I have a weekly newsletter that goes out as well. If you haven't, check in the join the channel memberships for, for, for some behind the scenes access and more perks and things like that, y'all. Thank you so much. Mental this is out. Peace.